What's up, everybody? John from Bad Catholic Dads here. After you listen to the episode, please check us out on patreon.com slash badcatholicdads. Patreon is a platform we're using where listeners can financially support their favorite artists on a monthly basis. While there is no paywall for our content, we would appreciate any support you can offer. Your support can help make this community and content better. Please prayerfully consider any support you can offer. We would be grateful for any amount. Also, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We post all our updates there, so definitely check that out. Share with your friends and family, or, an, or anyone who you think would enjoy the podcast. Lastly, we're on YouTube, Google Play, and of course, the iPhone podcast app. Of course, my children are making all the noise in the world, and I love it. If you feel inclined, though, hit us up with that fresh five-star review. Not only does it help the podcast out tremendously, we also read all the reviews on air. Thanks for listening to the Bad Catholic Dads podcast, and enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Bad Catholic Dads podcast. I am one of your hosts, John Perez, alongside the doctor, Derek Rogers. How's it going, Derek? It's going fantastic. We had a beautiful day today. Beautiful day. Kind of a warm day, um, but nothing like it's supposed to be tomorrow. It's supposed to be like 90, oh, 92 tomorrow, <laughs> Derek. Oh, man. How do you feel about this weather coming I, in here? I mean, today it was great because... Today was nice. Today it was, was Home Depot nice. day today. I'm getting what stuff did you, done outside. Yeah, what what were you doing? Just all the backyard stuff possible. Like redoing our koi pond. I was digging that all up. Do you have, fish, do you have koi in there, fish in there? No. Okay. I, we haven't had it for a little bit. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah. We, uh, when growing up, not really growing up, in my, when I was in college, my dad, my dad's a handyman, Derek. Hmm. And, uh, not passed down to me, actually. I mean, I like handy, doing handy work, but not really, like, I don't go out of my way to do it. I guess because I don't have a house yet, but we'll see what, I'm, I'm looking forward to having a house because one, my, my wife asked me today, she was like, are you going to be a nerd with, with like, uh, landscapings and like, you know, yard stuff? I'm like, we'll see. Um, but anyway, in college, we had uh, we had a koi pond, and we actually had real fish in there. Uh, but it didn't last too long. I think it takes a lot to maintain. I I I truly adored the fish that I had. Uh, when did when did you ha- when did you first have like have that project? But last year they had died last year, oh, and okay. they had gone through so much stuff. Unbelievable. They lived in the snow. They fell in the snow. They froze oh to death. Gosh. But they've been brought back to life. They were incredible fish. I love them dearly. Oh my- Gosh! Wait, it snowed. It froze. It snowed, them. and the th- the pond, the pond the, froze. It froze over. And uh-huh. I wanted to get my fish out of there, so I got them out of there, put them in a bucket, and I had covered up the thing. And I went inside, and I didn't know that one of the fish had hopped out at the time. Oh and my god! When I had gone back outside, it was dark, and I'm like, where? I I looked in the bucket, and I didn't have all the fish. <laughs> and oh my gosh! Th- it was a. It was like looked like it was dead in the snow and I felt so demoralized. I put the thing back in the bucket. I left it in the garage. The next day it came out and it was back alive. The thing was out there for a while and, you know, it had to have been out there for 15 minutes and, uh, you know, God bless that thing. But I love having that pond back there. You know, and I'm not particularly, I wasn't a handyman. I think it's in my uh, Rogers genetics to be so like my dad, Mm -hmm. uh, my brother, Nathan, uh, my brother Kevin are all, mm-hmm. you know, it's genetically handy people. But um, I think it's in my DNA. I in, I love doing outdoor stuff and like just doing all the landscaping, all that fun stuff, putting up you'll, stuff. It's it's you, good. Yeah, you'll have to uh, give me some tips when we get the house. I know that. Yeah. Like my like my dad was the kind of dad who like always had projects going on at the house. Like if you ever see my backyard at my parents' house, Derek, my dad. Mm pretty much did every single thing back there by hand he built like kind of like a, his own deck uh his own like barbecue area um he has like a we have a pool but he also bought like a kind of like a mini putt putt golf kind of thing it's, yeah. it's pretty crazy it's pretty yeah. insane um but no i'm excited because when we have the house you know we have a lot of projects going on yeah um, I, re- but, I'm, I really enjoy it and being a homeowner you're kind of forced to oh yeah um, definitely but, definitely how was your week, Derek? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was, was going to say, say like, how was your week? You know, we're talking about landscaping, all this manly stuff. We're going to be talking about oh, the gosh. NFL draft, man. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get to that in a second. But, 
how was your week though? I want to know because I haven't really got to catch up with you this week. Um, the week has been good. It's been really busy. Um, but yeah, everything has been going really well. The weather has been really nice. Um, we've been, uh, my wife went to the Marie Miller concert release thing. Um, so it was fun. So I had the kids for a while. She got to go out and have a good time and mm. uh, go to a concert. It was it was really good. Very nice. Very nice. I'm just glad it's the weekend. Derek, yeah. You know. How was yours, man? How was yours? Uh, dude, it was it was it was pretty tough at at some points. I feel like, um, I don't know. Like so, my newborn update. Uh, I don't. It's not a month yet. It's a month, pretty much, on Sunday. A month. Can you believe it's already been a month? That's insane. Um, so one month is on Sunday. So we're pretty stoked to survive a month. Um, lots of coffee and lots of praying together. Oh my gosh, lots of patience. But no, I mean it was pretty tough week. Work was pretty tough. Um, as you know, um, I'm a teacher, and so you know there's only like a month left in school, monthish month month and a week. But actually, I'm Derek. I'm a my countdown is like two more weeks because I'm my wife is going back to work in two weeks, and then that's when I'm gonna start my paternity leave. And oh, so wow, cool. I will be taking my paternity leave on uh, May, like in the middle of May to, and I won't even make it to the end of the year. So I've got like a countdown timer in my head already. Wow. So it's, it's, yeah. So it's pretty interesting. So yeah. we'll see. I'm just trying to survive. Just trying to survive. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we had uh, some projects due this week and a bunch of things we were doing. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, Derek, uh, welcome back to episode seven of the bad Catholic dads podcast. If you don't know, we are we are bad Catholic dads. We are a podcast. Uh, we're trying to spread the message message of authentic Catholic fatherhood. Um, if you don't know us, uh, check us out on Twitter and Patreon and Facebook and all the social media. Um, we'll have all the links at the end of the show. Um, but uh, Derek, uh, the NFL draft, if you don't know, is uh, happening this weekend. If uh, I actually, don't know, it, well, if you don't, know, I'm talking to, I'm not oh. talking to you, but I'm talking to like the, the listeners, audience. you know, the audience, maybe the audience, you know, there isn't some uh, mixing bowl there, but the NFL draft is happening, and uh, the NFL draft. How how do you feel so far, uh, Derek? As you guys may or may not know, is a Buffalo Bills fan, and uh, I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. How's your draft been going, bud? I was a, uh, I was a uh, texting you like during the thing where the Bills were picking tenth overall, and. Uh, you know, you you're, you look at all the draft people and you're like, okay, you know, these three players fit everything that we want. And then, then sure enough, when it comes to your turn, like you're watching ESPN and like, where did my team go? And they traded down with Kansas City to the 27th pick, which was right before your pick, right? You were 28th? Yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were 28th. So we were yeah, back we were to back. So we traded out of that. And I I immediately was like, I want instant gratification. Yeah. I want that player. I but know. this was a smart New England Patriots kind of thing to do. Get the future picks. Get the... The players that I guess they wanted in particular. So I who was. Who's you guys? Okay yeah, twenty eight again. How was uh? Who's who? Did you guys get at twenty eight again? I'm sorry. We had a uh, we got that one uh, at twenty seven. We got that one. Um, or twenty seven. Uh, I can't pronounce his first name. Um, I think he's out of. Oh my gosh. East something, and uh, apparently they've been drafting very stand up guys. So it's like okay, okay, I can I can yeah, get behind yeah, yeah. what they did. I, I always have the like the my rule like if I was a GM I I like I would want like I would never force like to get someone unless they were like a, I knew they were going to be a superstar. I don't know I I really like when people just fall to you. Like um I know this is like nerdy NFL talk and that's not what you're here for but there's a guy who's like potentially a top 5 pick in uh Ruben Foster. I don't know yeah. if you heard you heard guy this guy I right. Wanted. Oh my he's gosh. a top five pick, like sure-handedly, like inside linebacker, huge guy, beast of a player, Al- University of Alabama, and uh, a lot of teams passed up on him because I guess they needed a different need. And the Buccaneers, I was talking to my friend earlier today, and he's actually a Buccaneers fan, and they got him at nineteen, and this guy's supposed to be like a top five pick, and it's just like, hey man, patience is virtue, you know? What I mean? Yeah. So. Anyway, we're doing uh, so the NFL draft this weekend. The reason why I bring that up, Derek, is because this is going to be. Uh, I know I said a couple weeks ago we were going to do a uh, Saints uh, bracket challenge, and uh, Derek and I. Derek actually talked me out of it, and he was like, "You know, March is over. You know, March Madness is over, and you know it's April already." 
um, going to the end of April. Easter's happening, uh, and the NFL draft is coming up. Why don't we do a uh, Saints uh, draft, right? This uh, yeah. <laughs> Catholic Saints draft, and uh, basically welcome to our Saints episode, um, all about Saints, and we're and uh, you know we're gonna uh, end up uh, drafting uh, some Saints here in a bit. Uh, so Derek, let's before we get into um, our draft. Um, let's talk about some saints real quick. Uh, saints in particular, saints in general. Um, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, misconceptions about saints. Like how would you describe, like to someone who maybe is Protestant or, you know, someone who doesn't have like, you know, cause I feel like saints are a pretty Catholic thing. You know, I guess if you're like Episcopal, I do have saints, they have saints in the Episcopalian church, yeah. right? Yeah, a lot of church. denominations have um, like some variations sure, in recognition. Sure, but I feel like uh, saints in particular for the Catholic Church. Like, how would you, uh, I guess, to the explain listener, to someone? Yeah, I guess how, explain what a you know, Catholic, what a Catholic saint is or yeah. what a saints are. I would just I would say like in our faith, um, we believe that um, if you live um, a righteous and holy life, um, you end up going you know to heaven. And if if you are so uh, blessed, you might hit purgatory too, get up to heaven. And then we, the people that the people that are in heaven, we recognize them as um, well. The church on earth recognizes saints, and it doesn't mean that like once the church on earth like says, oh, just, you know, once they say that um, you're a saint, it doesn't mean you just turn a saint. Then you're you're when you go to heaven. You're one of the saints. Um, but we have a reassurance um, on earth when we hear that a certain saint is canonized or made um, right. that we can actually use them as kind of just like a, a middleman. We can ask for prayer intentions, mm-hmm. um, but we know that they're united with Christ um, up in heaven. So right. we can use them as a squad to help yeah. us through um, our yeah. daily lives. Yeah, it's like uh, it's the church's way of saying pretty much like we know this this person is a very holy person and we know without a doubt that this person is in heaven right and we're we are you know we know that this person can be um uh like kind of a messenger to god because they're already with god and so you know we can pray to them um derek i know one of the biggest misconceptions is do catholics worship saints and how would you you know what would you say to that you know um, I would say we don't worship saints at all. In particular, we honor, Mary. We right? honor like them all. and we, you know, give thanks for what they're doing. But the the main thing is that they they have been following the path of Christ, and we want to use them as a role model to say like I want to aim up and do right. the same thing that you did and focus my life on Christ just like you did. So we're not saying like so and so has their own branch, and we're now praying to the uh, Church of you know um, so and so so and so saint. Um, we're not saying that they're the ultimate goal. No, they're helping point us in the right direction. So when we pray um, for the saints, like guidance or assistance, we're just looking for an assist, um, you know, yep. someone to help us out, uh, either bring our attentions to God um, and they're just helping us out. Just like any other sports team, they're, you know, they're getting us an assist to uh, <laughs> to get the prayers out there. And, yeah. um, you know, we've seen through the workings of the saints and through the church that, uh, intentions are brought to God through these saints. And that's how we get these. We know for sure that these saints are in heaven because a certain prayer intention will be f- through a blessed person. And we'll see miracles happen um, because right. of praying to this individual and, right. uh, you know, to help with God, given that assistance. So they're in heaven, they're helping, uh, they're helping us out. And um, I would definitely say that we do not worship. Uh, we don't worship Mary. We don't worship the saints. We honor them. We appreciate and we look for them as role models to how to get to heaven. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, how would you respond to that, John? Yeah. I mean, I would say, I would say that the exact same thing. And I would even take it a step further, right? Like a lot of people see like having statues and pictures of saints. Like I'm pretty sure Derek, you have like a lot of like, you know, statues and, and pictures mm-hmm. of saints in your house. And same with here. Like, gosh, we have so many holy, like mm-hmm. at one point we were always joking uh, when we first got married, we were always joking each other because, like, our stuff combined into, like, one. <laughs> and we had so many um, uh, holy family, uh, like, pic- icons and pictures and 
statues and stuff like that and it was it was just kind of funny we're like oh man if someone came to this house they would know we would love the we love the holy family um but um yeah i would even say like you know even having like those statues and those pictures right there were it's not like we're worshiping you know those things in itself those things those things in itself are, are reminding us you know of 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 the greater picture right mm-hmm. um a life of know, holiness something the to life of holiness imitate um, exactly like imitating but also reminding us that hey these are saints these are great people these are people already in heaven that can just be a lifeline to god to help pray for us you know and so um yeah and and uh you know i want to talk i you know we can go into saints and all that stuff um but uh you know, I, I want to, because we're Bad Catholic Dads podcast, uh, I want to talk about saints in two, in two angles, right? Why are saints important to the Catholic faith, Derek? Like, why do you think saints are so important? Like, I know we said that, you know, well, one, that they're, we can imitate them. They're kind of our role models that we can look to, but also we could pray, to, pray to them as well. Um, you know, for that assist, like you were saying, Derek, but also like, why do you think our, why are saints important to ca- the Catholic family um, in being a dad and being a father, um, but also with your with in your family, you know, yeah. in your in your homes, you know? I know to me personally, and it's kind of goes with what we talked about last episode, too, is this weight of an inspiration um, on how to live the faith. Someone's life that has gone before ours in, in a very uh, a much more difficult time that they can still have this path, whether it be a lay person or religious, uh, we can see this holy life, um, that had struggles in it for some reason. Each saint has a unique story of some way that their faith has persevered. Um, they may have doubted, um, they may have had some kind of sickness. They may have, you know, f- come across physical pain and suffering, but they still found a way to conquer, um, whatever it is ahead of them. And I see as Catholics, this, I don't know, just a, a wealth. You look at how many saints we have, a wealth of people that you can look like, that's someone that I can model my life after, or right. I can take some inspiration from them because they have some beautiful writings and it'll help me um, in my prayers or meditation focus more on God. And I feel like this, uh, the communion of saints, um, this, this big <laughs> team we got here yeah. um, in our Catholic faith, you know, we're mm-hmm. united with them. And I just feel that having such an amazing group of individuals that we can just aspire to and look up to helps lead us through dark times. Us individually now in 2017, we can hit all these rough times, but we can look back at these saints and just say like, Oh, this is, this is the way to holiness. Oh, this is how helping me get into touch uh, with the Eucharist more or adoration. And it brings us closer to those sacraments that um, Jesus has uh, blessed us with here on earth. So, I mean, I think that's the one of the biggest things is an inspiration. We can pray um, to them to assist us uh, with any intentions, but I really feel walking on earth, we need as much guidance as we can, and these people give us a great way to um, look forward and look upward. Right, no, and I totally agree with you, right? Like, for I know... F- what was that? <laughs> Playing the drums. Yeah, I know for me in my family... Um, Saints are a huge part of our family. We have like a litany of saints that we pray to, um, who are saints that we, you know, that we are, have a special, I guess, devotional to. Uh, but for us, like in the family, I feel like they're really important because um, they're, you know, saints are people who um, are not only our role models, like I've said, but also like, if you look at like, I, I teach cat, I, you know, I teach uh, religion right in my in fourth grade and right one of the things that i tell them is like you know saints are awesome why because have you asked like anyone to pray for you you know and when you're having a hard time or when you're going through something and why did you choose to ask that person right you may have chose you may have chosen that person to pray for you because you know it's someone you trust or maybe someone who understood your problem or someone who's very close close to god and i feel like all those reasons are especially special about saints too because they there are a lot of saints that have gone through what we've gone through you know um today Mm -hmm. um is the feast day of uh saint uh uh saint gianna right who was a wife and a mother oh gianna mola yeah yeah yeah, yeah, and a saint you know and 
ha- like it's it's rare not rare but it's like there's like there's a saint for everything right that's why we have patron mm-hmm. saints for everything and and saint jana was a mother and you know if you're a mother and you're struggling you know with with kids or with you know with kid that's a saint you could pray to um you know the the apostles they literally walked with christ on on this earth you know and maybe we're having a difficult time walking with in our own you know spiritually walking with christ or you know we could pray to the apostles or you know of course in mary um but yeah in families saints are i think it could be really important in your family you know just praying to saints and knowing that you have someone up there in heaven you know hooking you up praying for you you know yeah and i know a lot of families um do try to name their children after saints to help give them a lot oh, that's gonna be another episode someone was like uh, i think your wife actually talked about that or my wife they were like you should have an episode on kids names and yeah <laughs> yeah we, um because we have right now we have all of our kids are named after saints so we just hopefully that saint in heaven can kind of assist them along the way too um but yeah there's uh just a lot of ways to be inspired about, and and then you're right. There's a, so many of these saints have the specific, uh, I don't know, additional gift or reason, um, something that you pray for, um, that is specific to that individual. Whether it be like Saint Cecilia for musicians, you know, right. um, you know, it's just anything. Like Saint Francis, if you're like with you like animals and you enjoy nature, <laughs> um, just yeah. a lot of different things, you know, like. Just if you're into carpentry, you know, all this stuff. Uh, St. Joseph. And there are so many different ones. Uh, it's unbelievable when you look up <laughs> patron saints of whatever. And I think they're like, at least, the, uh, on, on uh, Catholic. I use Catholic online or Catholic.org. Okay. And they say there's over uh, 10,000 recognized saints and beatified uh, in the Roman and Catholic and Church, yeah, so. but it's and not these, a definite head. Count, and these are so. the ones we know of, right? That's the because one we know of, right? We there are there are a lot Obviously, that we don't way know more. of. <laughs> and then one thing, one I don't know, like the one thing we say is like, you know, if you're in heaven, like you're a saint, regardless of like if you're mm-hmm. recognized by the church or not. You know, so yep. of course there's so much more saints. So even like you know, even if you know someone unnamed, just be like pray for me. You know, it's like someone up in heaven, pray for me. You mm-hmm. know. Uh, but anyway, um, saints growing up, Derek, did you have, uh, like an, like, uh, an, not an inkling. What's that word I'm looking for? Kind of like a attraction to the saints growing up. Like who were your favorite growing yeah, up? Yeah, there was one that Confirmation was kind of, saints or. I, you know, I think it probably St. Francis of Assisi was the saint that I really, because just, I loved just outdoors. I love nature. And that was my confirmation saint was St. Francis of Assisi. And nice. I had like a little statue of him. Um, and uh, my grandmother, she, long story short, is she's a she was in the Franciscan order. Uh, oh, cool. So she was a nun. So my grandmother, she wasn't one of those corrupt nuns. She just joined the convent after um, her husband had passed away. Oh, so, OK. And she had obviously she had kids at that point. Yeah, exactly. My right. mom was one of the kids. Or else you want to be the kids at school always looked at me funny. I'm like, we're going to go visit my grandma in the convent. And it was always oh my a weird gosh. moment. That's so funny. Yeah. So St. Francis, what about you, John? Oh, that's cool. Ah, growing up, I never like, I never uh, had like a attraction to the saints. Um, obviously, you know my story, Derek. You know, taking my faith more mm-hmm. seriously in college. Um, but growing up, I've always, you know, you know, a huge part of my family was the Holy Family, um, St. Joseph and Mother Mary, of course. Um, um, and then uh, confir- uh, confirmation happened, dude. And this is like my, uh, this is how se- unserious I took my faith during confirmation, Derek. Like, I was just like, let me pick a saint whose name I just like, you know? Mm, yep, yeah. And so I, I, uh, I like this saint, or I like the name uh, Nathan Derek, which okay. is like so, so weird and so random. But I like that name a lot, and I was like, "Is there a Saint Nathan?" And then I looked, on, I googled it, and then there ends up, there ends up being a Saint Nathaniel. And I'm like, "Oh, that's close enough." That's cool. Saint, <laughs> saint Nathaniel is uh, is pretty much he's an apostle, uh, yeah. Saint Bartholomew, and uh, I don't, I'm not 100 uh, percent certain about the story, but I just remember I think he's the uh. Uh, what, who's the scientist who had who discovered gravity? Newton, yeah. Isaac Newton. I think he's the Isaac Newton saint. He was sitting underneath an apple tree when Jesus called out to him. Um, I don't remember if 
an apple hit him or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's uh, how serious I took my faith uh, during confirmation, choosing a saint. But no, in college, of course, you know, lots of saints that I love. Uh, I think one of my favorite saints of all time is St. Ignatius of Loyola, who I have, you know, a special devotional to just because I feel like he was the kind of guy that I probably would have been in his time yeah. uh, looking for glory, um, but ends up uh, finding Christ instead. But uh, yeah, so... A that, lot of saints that's a good combo up, too yeah. that francis xavier and saint ignatius the whole jesuit yeah. Uh, yeah. squad right there yeah you know i don't know how they would feel about jesuits nowadays but you yeah, know yeah. different story different conversation see nathan's um, a good name too because nathan means gifts uh i think gift from god because my brother is nathan oh yeah that's um, right yeah that's cool I, I like that name a lot i was like i want to i wish my parents called me or named me nathan yeah <laughs> uh but they close john nathan jonathan yeah, see, you know? yeah you have so. the john nathan yeah yeah, yeah 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 all right derek uh anything else you want to say about saints before we get into our uh, saints bracket challenge uh let me see yeah that's you mean that's our saint fantasy draft our saints fantasy draft that's right um saints no fantasy, i yeah. uh i just it's always beautiful to me like these people and we see these images of these saints on like either stained glass windows and I, their life i always remind myself that their life isn't as glorious as that look a lot of them during during their life you know they're either helping with lepers or you know doing um just these works of God, mercy um and they probably lived in terrible conditions and these people were beautiful definitely on the inside where they've put up with so many things you know um the amount of confessions that some of them have heard and sure. just the struggles they went through. It wasn't a glorious things. And they are definitely the church's superheroes, right? That's what yeah. we talk Hashtag about. Hashtag national superhero day today. Yeah. By the way. Well, happy, yeah. Happy superhero. <laughs> I mean, this is a perfect time to do the draft yeah. is going on right now. We have superhero day and these on. are our superheroes in our Catholic faith. Go. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Awesome. About this. Let's get, let's kick this thing off. Welcome so, to the, f- yeah. Welcome to the first ever, Bad Catholic Dad's fantasy saint Saints fantasy draft. Um, Derek, let's l- lay some ground rules before we start. Yeah, l- let's do um, this. I would think I think it's only fair that yeah. we'll leave the Holy Family out of this because we'll leave the Holy very, Family. We gotta leave the Holy tier. Family. They're, it would be like game over if you yeah. drafted the Holy Family. It's, you know, obviously we're saying like, um, you know, still pray to the Holy Family. Great, great saints, a uh, great and Jesus in there, of course, um, but. No, we're doing this because uh, the, this Fantasy Saints Draft Challenge, Derek and I are just having fun. This is kind of a f- more fun episode, lighthearted episode than than past episodes. But um, we're basically doing this, uh, Derek. Uh, explain what, what the Fantasy Saints Draft Challenge is, like, wh- like kind so, of the yeah. reasoning behind it, you know? So with any NFL draft, you're trying to strengthen your team. And the goal for the NFL championship, of course, is to win that Super Bowl. And... For us as Catholics, what John and I are going to be doing, and you at home can play this along too. Um, yes, you can. Let what we're know. doing is we're going to get a group of saints that we think is going to help us best get to heaven. Our championship is definitely, you know, getting to heaven at least purgatory. You know, we'll aim for the middle right there. <laughs> and uh, well, we got to aim for heaven because we'll we'll get to purgatory. Exactly. Because if we <laughs> aim for purgatory, you, exactly, you gotta. You know what I mean. <laughs> judge that distance and if you <laughs> yeah, drop a little bit exactly then, exactly you do yeah. not want to miss you definitely do not want to miss <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're trying to assemble a team of what we think are just for fun having like really important great saints that are going to help us get to heaven um some of us might need it more than others so we're going to need the assistance of as many saints as we can today i think we're only limiting ourselves to 10 saints each right 10 saints each which so, is a lot oh, man. um and we can't pick saint joseph we can't uh, pick pick uh, Saint Mary, the Mother of God. Are they're, we they're doing? Off um, but apostles. And what'll be fun is if the listeners get to pick which t- you know which squad. We can probably yes. post this on any social media. Hashtag what the BCD final results Saint are, squad. and see who <laughs> has the holiest rollers, I guess, so to speak. The holiest rollers, nice. Um, but yeah, this is this is. So what we'll do is we'll take turns. I'm um, going back and forth. We haven't figured out a way to pick f- who's going first, John. Oh. That's a good question. Do you have a coin with two saints on it and you can flip it? <laughs> I have. Let me look. Where's my JP2 coin? I, ha- I had a JP2 coin somewhere. but Do you no, have I don't one? Have it. Do you have any other no. coin? I have a. Yeah, I'm good. I have a coin. Ready? Okay, wait. I'll call it. Okay. All right. Tell me when I should call it. Well, I mean, 
Okay, I call Tails. Tails never okay. fails. All right, I'm flipping it. Ready? Yep. It's Tails. Yes. Okay, so Derek will go first, unless you want to defer like an like defer an team. <laughs> we, um, yeah, the wind. No, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna receive the kickoff. Um, so here's what we'll do. We'll uh we'll uh we'll draft. So you'll go first, and I'll go, and then we'll kind of give a reasoning why we want okay. the Saint to be in our in our you know in our Saint squad. Um, so um, are we doing apostles? Yes. Yes. And we're opening it up to all saints, correct? Yes, all saints. Okay, except for except for obviously Saint Joseph the Holy Family and Saint Mary, Mother yeah. of God. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Here we go. I wish I had some epic music. Maybe I'll do some epic music in point in post uh, or good something. Old Madden football. <laughs> song in the back, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All go right. ahead. Um, with the very first pick of the uh, Saints draft, this is awesome. Derek is going to pick Saint John Paul the Great. No, <laughs> my favorite saint of all time, Derek. <laughs> yes, I, I have to. Well, other than Saint I mean, Joseph, the but. reasoning. I don't even think we needed. I mean, everything so we great. talked about about having someone that you could emulate and look at ah. as like that is a person that has. I mean, he's done everything. This dude is amazing in every aspect. Um, an incredible, incredible testament to our faith. Just amazing. I mean, one of my favorite stories. I mean, just him getting shot and forgiving the guy is incredible. Um, he's done so much for the church, but I mean, that's clearly the number one pick right there. Yeah, that's a great pick, man. Um, he Saint, uh, other than uh, after Saint Joseph or like one A, one B. I I love Saint John Paul II so much. Saint John Paul or Saint Pope John Paul II. Um, probably my one of my favorite saints of all time. Uh, but yeah, that's a great pick. That is a awesome pick. All right, I guess the, I, am I up? You're up, number two all in right. the draft. Man, I see. See, I didn't have a game plan going to this. I don't know about you, Derek. I did not have a game plan. Obviously, I know a bunch of saints that I love and who I uh, have a devotional to, uh, devotion to. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna pick uh, uh, Saint uh, Saint Peter, oh, uh, the first good, pope. Good. Pick. Um, and the reason why I'm picking Saint Peter is because obviously I think almost everyone can see themselves as St. Peter uh, once in a while where I think when we're at our weakest, sometimes we deny God uh, or we're having trouble, um, you know, wanting to, uh, you know, give God glory. Um, and so I, I remember, you know, being growing up in the, my college, my college era, my, uh, you know, partying culture era um, of just like denying God, you know, and, and, then. And then, of course, God, even though I denied him, uh, God wanting to, you know, accept me again, you know, and yeah. have me in his arms. And, uh, of course, how awesome is it that even though St. Peter basically denied God, um, that he gave him, you know, role as the first pope of the church, you mm -hmm. know. And, and I think that's something that uh, is so amazing in itself and that God, you know, when we when we accept him and when we could just come to him uh, with a you know, penitential heart that God is ready to w and willing to give us the world. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah so I, with my first pick, it's a pretty tough one. I, I love so many saints, uh, but I, uh, I'm going to go with St. Peter. So that yeah, is let me, let me write this down, Derek. So uh, yeah, I'm putting it down right now. Okay. You are putting it down. Yeah. All right. So you, you write it down and then, you know, my battery, right, your, your second pick, my battery's at 52. We're doing great by the way. Oh, we're, <laughs> great. Great. Right. Um, St. Peter was number three on my, my ranking board. So, with uh can you hear that the third pick of the draft is saint michael the archangel all right there we go i mean that guy is one of the coolest prayers i think of any saint i mean defend us in battle against the wickedness and snares of the oh devil oh my gosh um i love i mean just all the visuals you have with saint michael and with all the evil we have going on nowadays to have an archangel on your he's side he's definitely at work thing. i'll say that so all right i got nice. saint michael all right saint michael second pick for derek uh, my second pick is going to be, man, I love St. JP too. I can't believe you got him. That's awesome. Oof. Uh, I'm going to go with, I already announced him earlier. Uh, one of my favorite saints. I'm going to go with St. Ignatius of Loyola. Um, one Ooh, of my nice. favorite saints. If you don't know his story, he's a Spa uh, Spanish saint. Uh, he, uh, lived, uh, uh, he had came from a rich family and, uh, it's almost like St. Francis story. He, uh, wanted to, uh, find glory in battle right and uh, he gets injured a cannonball severely injures his leg 
and he has to uh he has to uh be pretty much kept in a tower to uh heal and while he's healing he uh he reads stories of the saints uh saint francis uh, especially and he uh finds god in that way but no saint saint is just loyal i love him so much he's I'm sure I would be exactly like him wanting to find glory in battle and stuff like that during that time. But uh, it's only through like the silence of prayer and uh, and of course, Ignatian spirituality. I love Ignatian spirituality. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Ignatius Lula. A good so. pick. Yeah. I love the Ignatius Bible, too. Um, it's yeah. fantastic. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, with uh, pick number five, so my third pick, okay. I'm going with another recent saint. I'm okay. going with Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Nice, great pick. You're 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 gonna destroy me, by the way. Just no, I mean I, not that not that we're like you know not that oh, one saint's better than another, but your saint your saint list is great. Um, I, I pick Saint uh, well Mother Teresa. Uh, she growing up, she'd always been just someone that really stood out to me, and um, she uh, passed away. Her feast days on my birthday. Um, so that was oh, always very a time. nice. Um, her and the Croc Hunter went really close together, and that was devastating for me. Um, mm. but mother Teresa, the, just hearing things that came back, like how she is just, she had been full of doubt at times and she still loved anyways. And she kept doing all these things. She's just such a real person. And these current saints are really fantastic because you get to, these are, it's another saint that you got to see, um, live and breathe, you know, and, and then it's so real and it's so inspiring because, you know, when we see some of these pictures of like either St. Patrick or someone, you know, you see them with like the snakes and everything and it. It's hard to to have them like there, like physically where you're like with these people, you can see that they would walk. You can see the suffering that they went through. And that to me is really inspiring. But Mother Teresa, um, fantastic. So there she that's is. A, my that's a pick. great that's a great saint. Um, for my uh, third pick, uh, not a not a recent, at least in the last hundred years. Right. Um, I'm going to go with uh, St. Uh, Maximilian Kolbe. Oh, good pick. I love this guy. Um, he, uh, If you don't know, he's a priest. Uh, and uh, he was in a concentration camp, uh, you know, with the Jewish people. And uh, if you don't know his story, it's so, it's so fantastic. Um, basically, uh, you know, someone was, one of the, someone was caught stealing bread, right? And uh, that's punishable by death in the concentration camps. And so he... Uh, so to make an example, uh, the the uh, Nazis wanted to kill uh, so, like a guy or whatever, and uh, he actually uh, took uh, their place or his place uh, in you know kind of like a Hunger Games style, um, you know what I mean? I I uh, what's that? What you read the Hunger Games? What's mm-hmm. that? What's that? What do they say? I I volunteer as tribute, yeah, kind of like that. Exactly. It's always kind of the running joke there, but yeah, exactly. no, I mean you know what a profound way to live your life. Um, mm-hmm going to the concentration camps ministering to those people but also you know volunteering as tribute uh for a stranger you don't know and i think that's a great example for us that are we you know jesus says you know whoever lays down their life for his brother you know lays down his life for me i think that's a great uh example for us you know are we willing to you know lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters in christ you know sure we can always lay our lives down for our family and people we know but you know i think you know, mm-hmm. Christ in himself, like he really wants us like to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters, you know? So great, great example. Yeah. Uh, Maximum Kobe's awesome. I'm, tr- I'm trying to remember what his, his concentration camp number was. It was like one six, six, seven, zero or something like that. Okay. I can't, it's for some reason that number standing on the back of my head. We had, wow. um, yeah. for, for our youth ministry, we wrote an original script, um, along with one of the teens about, it was called Max. And it was, uh, this one kid's life that was mirroring, um, St. Maximilian Colby's life. And, yeah. and the, one of the main characters is the man, um, that Maximilian switched his life out for. And so it was his grandson and the story was all yeah. tied together. Yeah. But yeah. It's so cool. He's, he's, he's a really great saint. Yeah, Maximilian so Colby. He's really so good. good pick. Um, all right. So my third pick, uh, seventh pick of the draft, I, <laughs> I have to go with St. Francis of Assisi. I just nice. have to. Nice. Um, I had to move him up my big board. I needed, yeah. I needed some of that. I mean, this guy, you know, that's an interesting thing about the Saints. We have a lot of stories that are true, and then we have some that are like legend that we don't know specifically are true. Right. Um, a lot of interesting ones with wolves with St. Francis of Assisi. I think my favorite one is definitely with when he just gives 
all of his stuff. You know, his dad's like, <laughs> you yeah. know, you're not my son anymore kind of thing. Him and too. Like, he he, he wanted glory too in battle, you know? Yeah. And, no, exactly. Uh, in business. And he was this he, party dude. A business too. You know, early on in his life, he was the ladies' man, and he yeah. came to be one of the most profound saints, uh, the stigmata and everything. Yeah. Um, he's fantastic. And I think quite a steal there uh, for... <laughs> There's that's the great thing. It's so rich. You look down this like list of people, and it's like there are so many great, awesome. Oh saints, my gosh! You know? Yeah, so many great saints. Uh, all right, all I'm right. gonna have to move uh, up my big board like you. Uh, I'm gonna pick uh, Saint Augustine. Oh, um, I love I was, Saint Augustine. That was who I was debating. If I yeah, was, dang it. Yeah, Saint Augustine. You know, I love. He's kind of the same way um, in terms of uh, you know living. He he is like basically my like college uh you know <laughs> that's what i lived in college right he he partied a lot he would always uh you know get into trouble and his uh, actually like saint monica his mother would always pray for him and pray for him for so long for a conversion uh, but he basically you know did the same thing that i well I, I basically did the same thing he did um so like he had this huge conversion you know he started to see you know what am i doing like he, like i i think i think when he talked to one of his friends you know, I think after like a night of partying or whatever, you know, whatever they were doing, you know, being ladies men and stuff like that. He was just like, what are we doing here? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like what's the point of all this? And and then he had a huge conversion to the faith. So St. Augustine. Fantastic. I'm, I'm reading that book right now. Confessions. Oh, such so, a good, actually I, uh, when, I uh, so in college, uh, you know, of course I, in my faith, I already found my faith and stuff like that for my senior thesis class. Uh, I had to, uh, uh, right. Uh, we, my senior thesis class was on Rome, uh, and the, uh, uh, so, uh, it was on the history of Rome and we had to write a paper and I actually used his, uh, his book. I think, was it confessions? Yeah. Confessions. Cause he wrote about, he, he writes about Rome and confessions, right? If I'm not, yes. Or city of God, city of God. That's yeah, the city one. Of- and, and so in city of God, he's basically comparing like, uh, Rome to, uh, heaven and uh, and pretty much the downfall of of Ro- the Roman Empire is uh, Christianity. So, yeah, I love Saint Augustine. So, anyway, that's uh, what are we, what are we on now? My, that was my third pick. Ye- that was your fourth pick. Fourth yeah. pick. No, so recap it so far. Who do we have? So, um, on John's Saint team, we have Saint Peter, Saint Ignatius, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, and Saint Augustine was the most recent one. And for Derek's team, we have. St. John Paul the Great, St. Michael the Archangel, St. Uh, Teresa of Calcutta, St. Francis of Assisi, and it. with the number nine pick, I'm taking, I, he, I had to pick him before he was going to get, um, being in youth ministry, um, oh, I got I married at this church, my wife would kill me if I didn't pick St. John Bosco. Oh, yeah, that's okay, that's a great pick, that's a great pick. Uh, I, I had to move him up, so St. John yeah. Bosco, yeah, I mean... He uh he juggled for I mean in a lot of ways like you know I idol, I idolize him I I juggle too and uh, it's just great yeah we got married in that church St John Bosco patron saint of youth ministers man I gotta take it I gotta take it. I mean good. I need that help at my job right now so yeah that's St John very Bosco good. number nine nice. with the number ten pick here we go we're halfway uh, through John are we are we picking can we pick blessed or are we just picking saints that's I the mean, rule. If you, I don't know how the audience will rate that. But. Oh, that might be like a asterisk there. That's fine. All right. Uh, for my uh, uh, next pick, I am uh, picking Saint. Probably not a very popular, you know, not not well known, but I'm picking a Saint Chiara Bodano. But Bo- 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 Bodano, right? Saint? No, she's, she's blessed. blessed. She's blessed. She's blessed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe I should go back. I mean, maybe I should to decide. She's not a maybe saint. I take yeah, back. She's, fan- she's awesome. She's, she's really awesome. Cool. She's awesome, though. I mean, you know, pretty much a saint. <laughs> so, um, but no, like, I'm going to pick her. I mean, she, I have always had this kind of, you know, attraction to her life. Um, if you don't know, she died at a young age, um, had uh, cancer, right? And uh, she, would lo- she would lose her hair, Derek. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when she, lo- when she lost her hair, I think, you know, during her sickness... Um, she would always take every uh, strand of hair and say, for you, Jesus, you know, and, and, and kind of this in suffering, uh, she would always just offer it up to Jesus. Um, and so I feel like that's a great example for us in our suffering, you know, whatever we're going through. Maybe it's not sickness. Maybe it's just having a really, you know, crappy day or 
whether it is sickness, you know, just offering up our, our lives and our sufferings to Jesus, you know, so yeah, kind of like an Asher's pick right there, but yeah, what's really, (laughs) what's really cool about her too is that, I mean, she's like, you know, there's pictures of her as a teenager and it looks current and it's very modern saint, but it's very modern. She's got this beautiful face. Um, she just looks like a normal kid, you know, (laughs) and that's the cool thing. So, you know, we can keep praying, um, for miracles through her so she can get to, you know, canonization. So hopefully we'll pray. They need two miracles then. And, uh, yeah. she'll be, you know, that's a good prospect right there, John. Yeah. Um, thank you. Very good. I yeah. I mean, it's, you, you need yeah. it, you know, the lower end of your draft, you're going to need to strengthen it out with more veteran players, but there you go. I mean, that's good. Yeah. Hey, I'm um, taking, I'm taking a, like if this was the NFL draft, I would be taking like, uh, these raw athletic talents, you know, that yeah. aren't very, you know, uh, you know, uh, experienced, but yeah. definitely have the potential, you know. So, all right, okay. So, uh, number eleven pick. So here we go. I'm going to go with a veteran saint. Here we and go, and one that is used in current culture incorrectly, but he is. Oh, he's okay. he slaps around people. He's also, believe it or not, he's a patron saint. If you would look. Um, some people would say pirates. Other people are, you know, and also prostitutes. Oh, I know. I so know this one. St. Nicholas of Mira, also oh, known as not Santa where Claus. I was going. Okay. Not so, where I was going. Yeah. So I'm going with St. Saint, Saint Nick right there. St. Nick. Good old St. Nick. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, everyone knows about this guy. But if you look him up, St. Nicholas of Mira um, or Myra, he has he's a patron saint of a lot of incredible things. Um and so if you're ever thinking of becoming a pirate and you need, you know, you got pirates of the Caribbean coming out in May, the new one, there you go. You can think about St. Nicholas and hopefully the conversion <laughs> of all these. Is he, so he's sinners. the, uh, Peter Saint of, uh, of, uh, pirates. That's so funny. Yeah. That's Slapping so funny. heretics too. St. Nicholas was a pretty, uh, a, a, a BA man. He was, yeah. he was pretty good. All right, sure. Go for it. So, all right. I'm picking a big one here, Derek. Ready? Oh man. I have three. It's going to be one of these three that I have next. Go ahead. Well, maybe ahead. probably not. Probably not. Um, I, uh, I'm i going to go with a very huge saint in our, you know, in the Catholic Church. Uh, someone would say we use his uh, doctrine now in our church. Um, we're going St. Thomas Aquinas. Uh. Um, well, not doctor. I mean. <laughs> it's a great um, pick. Yeah, no. So I, I like St. Thomas Aquinas because um, I feel like I'm not smart. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like. I'm not very, uh, not many uh, of us are to St. Thomas. Yeah. Uh, obviously well. we're not at his level, but I feel like, you know, for us, that's something that we can aspire to, um, in our, not only in our lives, but just, you know, just seeing a 10th of what he saw, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, no, I'm going to go with St. Thomas Aquinas. There, that's really so. good. Yeah. Those are some books that I, I mean, th- there's a lot of depth to that. Yeah. Um, my, <laughs> my pick now to counter that, I need some raw talent. I mean, we're talking oh, about really here we go. raw. Here um, we go. And I look, f- I look, this is something I need in my personal life is this unflinchingness. This, you don't really care for much. You're just going to preach the gospel. You're going to prepare the way of the Lord. I'm going to go with St. John the Baptist. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good, I mean, that guy, he was awesome. I mean, and to someone that was able to, you know, baptize Jesus, I mean, <laughs> Oh my gosh! It's incredible, yeah. and then getting the head chopped off, eating locusts, wearing you know crazy, crazy stuff. This guy, he wasn't afraid to speak out. So I need that at times. So that's definitely someone that I need there. So welcome nice. aboard, Saint John the nice. Baptist. Very nice, Saint John the Baptist. There you go. Uh, and I'm going to counter that with my own Saint John. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Saint John. Uh, obviously, I'm talking about. Um, the St. John who uh, took Marion. The you beloved, know, Jesus, huh? St. John the beloved. Jesus was, you know, Jesus said the famous lines, uh, woman will behold your son and son behold your mother. I, I love St. John. Um, St. John to me, uh, my name is John too. Obviously he's not with H though. But also in the fact that um, Jesus teaches us to hold his mother close to us. Mm-hmm. You know, not only as our, uh, you know, spiritual mother, but also, you know, someone who we obviously can pray to right um today we're celebrating saint louis de montfort obviously i, I don't think i'm going to be drafting but i i really like saint louis de montfort because saint louis de montfort teaches us you know you know we go th- to jesus through mary right um the world gave us jesus through mary or not the world 
God, sorry, God <laughs> gave us Jesus through Mary, right? And yeah. so I think that's super important in our lives to always hold, you know, our our mother Mary close close in our hearts and, you know, as our spiritual mother. So, yeah, yeah. That's really good. Um, Oh, it's getting, it's getting here now. We're getting there. It is. I feel like this, this next one is a pretty, a pretty big one for us. I mean, he's responsible for a lot of the writings we have, a lot of conversion of Christians. I'm going to go with just along the same, you know, the OGs, man. I'm going with St. Paul. Yeah. I knew you were going to pick that. Nice one. That, I mean, this guy, we have a lot to thank for, uh, with St. Paul. He gave us, he gave us so many of the writings um, so many conversions, um, and he was, the thing with, I mean, be, being dedicated to persecuting Christians and then turning your life around to be that, I mean, uh, that's another just story of redemption, I feel. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, a really awesome saint and, uh, glad to have him aboard too. So, um, I got St. Paul. There we go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um. Yeah, that's a good one. Let me just Very good one. Team. So let me just check here what we got. Okay. Um, I think you have two more picks left, and I have, I have one two more, more picks left. Oh, this is so tough. I'm I'm gonna come back to this episode and be like, why didn't I choose this thing? You know, there's well, there's so many out there, and it's just what is gonna help you get to heaven, John. That's the main thing that yeah. you gotta do. And also, what do you think the audience is gonna side with? I guess both of those. I mean, you can't go wrong with going to heaven with any of these. Um. But oh, there's some good ones out oh there, John. Oh my gosh! All right, um, yeah, yeah. No, so, you so have many one, good two, ones. three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so wait a minute. We both have one, two, three, four. Eight. Okay, so you have three more picks left. I have two. Okay. Um. So this is I'm the sixteenth pick right here. Oh, okay. So I have three more picks, and you have two. Yep. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Man, that was a good last pick. By the way, um, I think I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with um, and and to be honest with you, I am guilty of not knowing more about this saint's lives. So maybe you could um, fill in the blanks for me if you know more than me. <laughs> this is but, bad uh, Catholic dads, not perfect. This is Catholic bad Catholic dads. dads, right? This is bad Catholic dads. We don't know everything, uh, but I'm gonna go with uh, one of my names, one of my name uh, namesakes. Uh, my name's Saints. St. Saint Anthony. Oh, this is of a good Padua. this is a good pick, man. This um I I know, always be, lose things too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like St. Anthony is known for St. Anthony, please help me find my cell phone, right? Oh, how can and you I take and yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've said that, by the way. Uh, but no, so like in popular culture, St. Anthony is the saint we use for finding things for us. But for me, he's a special saint because my parents chose him at, to be my namesake, right? My name is Jonathan Anthony Perez. And so I feel like even when I was born, St. Anthony was already praying for me, you know? And so that's why I'm picking him. So, that's a really but, uh, but again, I lose things and, you know, guilty of you yeah. know, calling out St. Anthony to help me out, you know? No, so. I've heard different versions. Like there's like, he's just a very heroic kind of saint. Um, one that, you know, kind of like a man's man saint. So, I, I mean, Francis that's a really skin? good one. I, that was one Francis that I needed saint? on my team, John. I can't. Oh you, man. I'm so sorry. Me. It's okay. Cause your wife bought you those, uh, those things you stick on your, wherever <laughs> yeah, you want to stick the on tiles. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need those by the way. Dude, I need those uh, so bad. I, I'm um, during our nightly prayer. That reminds me. I'm um, during our nightly prayer. Uh, we, um, our kids and my wife, every, we pray for something specifically, um, whatever yeah. intention we have, like, you know, out loud. And yeah, yeah. Um, today I prayed for this older gentleman. When I was walking out of Home Depot, um, I'm walking to my car and all of a sudden I hear this like just yelling. I'm like, what the heck? And I turn around and this old guy is pointing to the ground. My wallet had dropped out of my pocket oh my in gosh. the parking lot. That and, is awesome. And I'm like, oh my gosh, sir, thank you so much. And he's like, no problem, no problem. And, you know, I, I was wow. like, wow. He was he was God sent for me at that point. So that's it was like really he was in awesome. my prayer. I prayed specifically for that older gentleman. Um so maybe that was Saint Anthony looking out for me. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should have picked Saint Anthony earlier. Dang it. Um but anyways, <laughs> yeah, shout out to that old man at Home Depot. He was fantastic for me. That's okay. great. So he just saw your wallet and he, he was just saw it and it fell out of my pocket while I was walking. Oh I was honestly gosh. ten feet away from it. So he, he must have been awesome. behind me. Um and I probably scooted past him with my cart because Sometimes the older folks go slower in the parking lots. 
and I'm like scooting around trying to get my stuff done and look what happens you know I I almost lost my wallet it was a terrible day and this guy helped me out so that was good but yeah I have that tile thing hooked up to my it's I have one in my wallet so I would have looked at that thing and like where is this and I'm just so thankful he pointed that out okay with the 17th pick oof this is a tough one I'm gonna go with this saint um I really like uh scary movies these are sleeper saints by the way like this is at the end of the draft you know the end yeah. of the draft we were I, like well this is tough man because searching I, for some I, I see my kids saints sitting out there and i know I have right to face my child tomorrow and i she's know like, daddy why didn't you pick me don't you love me and i'm like honey i do but i just i need to get to heaven too um, i know <laughs> so this saint uh he sits in the vestibule at saint andrew the apostle okay. and uh he another another stigmata I, I have something about the stigmata, man. Um, but he wrestled demons, um, heard confession. They said he could bilocate. I don't know if that's true. Oh, but I'm going to go man, with St. Padre say. Pio. Nice. Very nice. St. Padre Pio. He uh, bilocated, right? He could bilocate. Yeah, that's what I, Yeah, uh, exactly. The and we talk about that's superheroes cool. and X-Men. I mean, this dude was like, you know, Nightcrawler, man. Yeah, there you go. He that's can a just good one. teleport. It's a good one. His uh, body is actually incorruptible, right? Yeah, I saw a picture of that. Those are always weird to me. He's uh, I I read somewhere that he's gonna be his body might be touring the U.S. <laughs> he's so, going on tour with the body. Dude, he's that going looks on tour. Like, I think this summer, Derek. He's in he better shape wanna, than the Rolling Stones, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I, aren't they like? Aren't they incorruptibles too? I don't know. They look really bad. Uh, at so this I point, know. yeah. At this point. All right, for my next pick, uh, second to last pick, I'm gonna go with Saint Luke, uh, writer of oh, Gospel, another one, and another uh, Acts one. of the Apostles. Uh, I think he was Saint. St. Luke was under St. Paul, right? Was that correct? I I believe he so. Was the, I, uh, mean, I have my word? scouts did not write that one down. So Yeah. I think uh St. uh uh St. Ma- uh Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Matthew, Mark, St. Mark was underneath Peter and St. Luke was underneath St. Paul. I believe. I'm not 100%. Anyway, so St. Luke, I uh really like I think out of the four Gospels, he's probably my favorite Gospel. Um, I think, you know, one of the biggest things that he did was he paints, uh, he mentions how tradition tells us, or tradition tells us how he paints. I feel like he, out of the all four Gospels, paints Mary um, Hmm. and her life. um, And, you know, how, and how, sorry, I could grab my baby, emergency. Oh. All right, so, no, I mean, I have her right with me. I'm just going to carry her. Um, and, you know, she shared with him the life of Jesus, and, you know, he pa- he paints Mary and Jesus in kind of a different, in a different way than the other Gospels. Yeah. Uh, some people call him the Marian Gospel, you know, so. That's something really I've been really paying that. attention to lately is just the different tones of the Gospels because when I was younger, I didn't care as much, but now you can see the different writing styles and just, yeah, like the different, like, artistic qualities um, that some of these Gospels are written in. So, yeah, and he wrote Acts of the Apostles, which is uh pretty one of my. I don't know if you know this, but Acts of the Apostles is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books in the Bible, Derek. Hmm. And the reason why is because one, it's right after um, Jesus, right, in his in his time here. Um, but also, it's kind of like a history book. It's the history of our church in a way, you know. So, I, so yeah. Anyway, that's that's why I'm picking Saint Luke. So. So I have my last pick. Oh, here we go. This is tough, man. There are so, so many tough. great ones so out many there. Great saints. And I'm definitely going to go with I mean the ones that are standing out to me right now too are some of the the women saints. Yeah. Um, and I'm really struggling to pick one here because we have a lot. Oh. Oh, and we have another good one too. Oh. Man, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going to go See, as a parent, I feel like I should pick St. Monica, but I'm not. Oh. That one's, she's. Ugh. She's such a great. There, Yeah. She's and a great saint. St. Joan of Arc is there too. How oh. has she not been picked? I have I to go know. with this because this is a big part of what my life is. And okay. I have a lot to thank, uh, be thankful for, for music. But the patron saint of music is St. Cecilia. So I'm going to go with St. Cecilia. I knew you were going to pick her. That's awesome. To round that out. Yeah. Um, a lot of great saints on the board still all right so that's my last my last pick your oh, last man, pick pick, pick number 20 pick number 20 in Let football isn't it called mr 
irrelevant, but Saint in irrelevant. Saints, they're not Saint ever irrelevant. irrelevant. Right. They're always relevant. So, oh man, it's, they're just as so good as the last. Saints. And the first um, man. Let me look through my notes real quick. I'm not missing anybody. Um, there's an awesome saint out there for like. Ugh. It, once we you can do some it, honorable we, mentions afterwards too, you know. Yeah, exactly. Like the close. Oh man, I uh, so many good saints. Who to pick? Uh, I'm gonna pick um. Oh man, Derek, uh, I'm so torn right now. There's you know, there is the a lot pick. of good ones. <laughs> um, well, you know, I'm gonna throw a curveball out here. Um. Obviously, like if we went further than just, uh, you know, ten saints, then I, you know, obviously I would love to get all my saints that I love. Like I love Saint uh, Joan of Arc that you just mentioned, mm-hmm. Eric. I love her story. You know, she's a war- <laughs> woman warrior, BA warrior. Fun, um, fun fact with Saint Joan yeah, of Arc. Yeah. When we watched it during one of our confirmation classes that my wife and I had to lead in New York, my brother was in that class. And it was the one with, what's her name, Lolo or Lily Sabisky or whatever her name is. Do you remember that one? No, I don't remember there, that one. It no. was like a, I don't know if it was a made-for-TV thing. Anyways, she got shot with an arrow. <laughs> St. Joan of Arc got shot with an arrow in this film because we were watching it for confirmation class that my wife and I uh-huh. were leading. Anyways, my brother was there, and he was squeamish of blood. He <laughs> he passed out, and he sm- slammed into the counter that was there because of oh my St. Gosh. Joan of Arc and the way she took a, an arrow. And it was the funniest thing that I've ever had a connection with St. Joan of Arc, but she made my brother pass out. Awesome. All right, Derek. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I think I know what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with, ready? Yeah. My wife, because she's such a saint, Derek. Oh. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Great. So you're that, the- hey, you signed up for this, listener. You signed up for bad ca- <laughs> bad jokes here. So, all right. I think for my last one, I'm gonna uh, throw a curveball, Derek, and I'm gonna pick Saint Lo- uh, Sa- uh, well Saint Lorenzo of uh, Saint Lorenzo. Oh gosh, Saint, saint Lorenzo Neal. Ruiz. He saint Lorenzo place? Louise. Wait, what Ruiz. is it? Lo- Saint Lo- San Lorenzo. It's really San, but Saint. Uh, I guess you would say Saint Lorenzo Lu- Ruiz. And so Saint Lorenzo, Derek Lu- yeah. Ruiz, Lorenzo. If I'm saying yeah, is uh, the first uh, Filipino saint, Derek. And uh, oh. I'd be remiss if I didn't add my culture into here. So I'm Filipino, and growing up, I lived in Norfolk, uh, Norfolk, Virginia Beach area, Derek. And uh, there was Saint Lorenzo. Uh, San Lorenzo is what we, you know, what we called it, because uh, San means uh, saint in Spanish or in, in, in Tagalog, which is my parents' native language. And um, San Lorenzo or Saint Lorenzo uh, was the very first Filipino saint uh, in the Philippines, and uh, the Filipino people, my parents included, have a huge devotion to San Lorenzo because of that. Um, so that's really uh, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, the kind of cool cultural pick. Um, in in San Lorenzo or Saint Lorenzo, so yeah, very good. So there you go. So I feel like our lists are so like different, you know, yeah. in in some ways, but all they're also kind of like we have our staple saints, and then I kind of went for the most more unique, you know, the more unique one, and you went for some really good, you know, yeah, like veteran awesome saints there. We got some, so. yeah, we got some solid ones there. Some of the ones that were left on the board: Saint Joan of Arc, yes, Saint Jude, okay. St. Francis Xavier, St. Francis de Sales, St. George, which I think is an incredible saint. I mean, that's the whole legend with him killing it. He was just like the warrior. St. Patrick. St. Patrick is there. St. Monica. St. Ter- 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 Therese of Avila. Yeah, St. Yeah, St. Therese of Lisieux. St. Therese of Lisieux. I've never had a devotion to her because she's so like out of my out yeah. of my league and in the ways, you know. She's like the staple of the Christian Catholic faith, you know. It's yeah. like I could never... Like live up to you know what you you know she I what did she say she would always uh what was her famous saying it was like, the little way right the little way right the little flower the little way so yeah Saint Catherine of Siena mm-hmm. um Saint Bernadette Saint yeah oh, Saint, Saint Lucy Saint Lucy <laughs> see you were you were also a bad Catholic dad you didn't pick your Saint kid. James I didn't even choose Saint James. Oh. You're gonna you're gonna look back at this list once ESPN is gonna go over these or EWTN <laughs> either either one of EWTN those. EWTN is gonna go back over this. It's so funny. Oh hey, Saint Kateri. 
Yep, I know. I have St. Blaise and St. Yeah, Teresa of Blaise. Alba. Yeah, they're all... Yeah. <laughs> I've let my children down. There you go. Uh, St. Benedict, right? A lot of, lot of awesome saints yeah. here, so... Uh, let us know what you guys think of our, our saint list and uh, here you let's guys go, can vote. Should we read over the, yeah, the let's, list let's, real quick? Let's, let's go over it. Yeah, exactly. Right. So for John Perez's team, we have St. Peter, St. Ignatius, St. Maximilian Kobe, oh. St. Augustine, Blessed Chiara, the surprise one, um, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. John the Beloved, St. Anthony of Padua, um, St. Luke, and then St. Lorenzo Ruiz. Is that it? Ruiz, yeah. R U I Z. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. okay. Cool, I suppose. Oh, St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Yeah. St. Thomas. I would have, I loved it. Oh, see, them. that's another good one. Yeah. It's Great hard to one. just limit it to 10, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, go ahead. For, uh, for my list, for Derek's list, uh, we have St. John, Paul the Great, St. Michael the Archangel, St. Mother Teresa, St. Francis of Assisi, St. John Bosco, St. Nicholas. Mm. St. John the Baptist, St. Paul, St. Padre Pio, and then St. Cecilia. Man, great list of saints there you got. Um, yeah, so again, let us know in the comments or hit us up on Twitter. Uh, I'm going to put a poll up for like a week uh, and vote on who you think uh, had the better uh, Saint Squad. Hashtag Saint Squad. Uh, BCD Saint Squad. So, yeah, I th- what a great – that was a great topic. That was a fun topic, Derek. Yeah. What, like, that was fun. Um I don't have anything else. Any, anything else you want to say, Saints, before we wrap this up, Derek? No. Um, my power is still out over here. My battery is almost dead. So. Oh, my gosh. All right. We got to wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Um, um, but, yeah, no, this was really fun. And for anybody that's offended, it's just we're just having fun with this. And, like, really, <laughs> every offended. saint that's in so heaven funny. is so happy with God. They're, they don't even care how they ranked on this list at all. Yeah. No. They have, they have greater things to worry about, like helping It's not like souls. a saint's, like... Ah uh, well, he didn't put me on his list. I'm not praying for him anymore. You know, <laughs> he's so terrible. He's like, oh my with, gosh, they can't. They they wouldn't yeah. withhold our prayers yeah, yeah. from God. <laughs> All right. Um, where's my phone? Where did I put my phone? All right. So we have uh some shout outs. Um, some shout outs, Derek. Do you have any shout outs this week? Um, n- uh, no. Just out to that old, the older gentleman yeah, at Home Depot. That was so cool. I think That's so cool. any anybody that helps someone when they find their wallet. That's an incredible blessing. Um, that so really just a cool. shout out to that man. All right, uh, shout outs this week. I have uh, no, none, not really any shout outs, but I do have some iTunes review, Derek, if you want to listen to them. Oh, yeah. Um, we have some iTunes reviews, so of course you can follow us on uh, iTunes. Uh, and if you follow us on iTunes or the podcast app on your iPhone, uh, please leave us a review. Hit us up with that five star love. Um, we would love to, to read your review on air, just like uh, Backfield Radio did. And they're titled their review, Bad Catholic Dads, Good Podcasting. And Backfield Radio says, if you're looking for lay people to talk for two hours straight <laughs> and project being smarter than you, this isn't the podcast for you. This is, as many reviewers describe as, a hangout. It's a couple of Catholic dudes making their way as best as they can and heeding the, ca- the Catholic faith while rearing their kids and supporting and loving their wives. It's easy to listen to. You can be a biblical scholar or a random dude with no clue, and you'll enjoy the show. A definite <laughs> weekly listen. So thank you so much, Backfield Radio. I love um, I love that so much. The rearing. I love the word rearing. <laughs> oh, it's such a great but, word. Oh, my goodness. That's so funny. Yeah. If we can make people – if if we can – give that vibe that we're smarter than people i you know i apologize you listeners you definitely know that's not the case we're not smarter uh, than any no i'm pretty sure we're not 100 <laughs> percent. um all right and so thank you breakfast radio uh the second review is by his and i'm probably butchering your name gratia Gra- gratia grazie grazie anyway um so thank you so much for review and uh here he or she says love from Los, oh, it's a she. Love from Los Angeles, California, Derek. So California, shout out. Um, and they, uh, she says, I love listening to you guys. You guys are so awesome. I gave this podcast five stars. It's amazing to hear men striving to- together towards a deeper relationship with for, with Christ. And such a great example of devout husbands. My name is Grace. I'm a young adult core leader for the yo- young adult ministry at the Cathedral of Our Lady of Los uh, of the angels in downtown Los Angeles. I know I'm not a male or dad or anything, but <laughs> I have introduced your podcast to my boyfriend and so many 
of my brothers in ministry throughout the LA Archdiocese. Prayers and blessings. Shout out to you. That's Thank really you. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Shout out to you uh, all the way in LA. Appreciate your listens. Appreciate your reviews. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. Man, that's awesome. Um, the uh, she's got she's got good t- the the boyfriend the good 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 picking man. What's keep, up, boyfriend? Keep, keep her uh, keep her happy. She sounds pray. she sounds awesome. She sa- she does sound awesome. So pray together, uh, and stay together. The 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 couple that yeah. prays together, Derek, stays together. Am I, I right? Heard, Am I yeah, right? and I heard the saying: the couple that listens to bad Catholic that- dads together <laughs> stays. It was something like that. It was one there of the you things, go. I think. There you go. All right, uh, you can follow us on uh, Twitter and Facebook, uh, if, and uh, Instagram. Uh, leave us a message there. We'd love to hear your uh, your messages and read them on air. Um, of course, you can find this podcast on YouTube, iOS, and SoundCloud. Um, of course, you can help support our podcast on patreon.com slash badcatholicdads. Uh, please prayerfully consider supporting us. Uh, but remember, everything is free, so uh, anything helps out the show. Um, and uh, that's all I have for this week, Derek. Um, it's May tomorrow, dude. Or it's May this weekend, yeah. or after this weekend. So uh, we're getting we're we got getting Mary's month, man. Quick. It's Mary's Ma- month. The, mo- the month of Mary. So tune in pretty soon we have some special guests coming on this month or in the month of may so i'm sure you'll love that and enjoy that so until next week guys we'll catch you on the flip side bye guys take care god bless